Hi, my name is Dr. Penny Thompson Cruz, professor of violin at Bowling Green State University College of Musical Arts in Bowling Green, Ohio. I want to invite you to attend my upcoming Faculty Artist Series Recital on Wednesday, September 3rd, 8 p.m. Bryan Recital Hall in the Moore Musical Arts Center. Admission is free. One of the things I have enjoyed most about teaching at Bowling Green State University College of Musical Arts is planning and performing my annual faculty recitals. I feel fortunate to have outstanding faculty members who are eager to collaborate. As a violinist, I always have a running bucket list of pieces that I have never played and want to learn. In addition to performing with members of our piano faculty and my other string colleagues, I have program works on my recitals that include clarinet, trumpet, harp, and narrator. Some of the pieces on my bucket list are war horses that I want to add to my repertoire. Others may be something that I stumbled onto on the internet or while browsing in a music store in Australia. Last year, when a doctoral pianist told me how much she enjoyed my faculty recital, she said, it was so you. I knew exactly what she meant because the repertoire choices reflected much of my personality. I included a beautiful work by Rebecca Clark, three pieces for two violins and piano. Having grown up with my older sister also playing the violin, I always think I know the entire repertoire for two violins or two violins and piano. However, musicologists continue to discover works that have not yet been published. These beautiful pieces by Rebecca Clark fall into that category. Once I heard them on a recording, I knew I had to play them. I had a new violin colleague last fall, so it was a wonderful way to include him in my recital. Another piece on my recital last year, Ferdinand for Violin and Narrator by Alan Riddow and text by Monroe Leaf, was something I stumbled onto while surfing the web. Curious if there was anything written for Violin and Narrator. This humorous piece is based on the children's story of Ferdinand the Bull. Jeff Stevenson, who teaches voice and musical theater at BGSU, was more than a willing and enthusiastic conspirator. Such fun to interact with Jeff and hear the audience laughing at a violin recital. If you're interested, you can watch our performance on YouTube. My repertoire selections also reflect my current interests. One year, I performed works by all women composers. Having attended a performance of Blue Man Group, I wanted to find a way to break down the division between the audience and the performers. I wrote first-person narratives on each of the composers. I had female members of my violin studio stand up, lit only by a flashlight, and recite the narrative before I performed each selection. So what will I play this year? This program may be the most atypical to date. Of course, there is a piece from my bucket list. I will play Jennifer Higdon's String Poetic with Salunga Feng Su Lu at the piano. Jennifer Higdon is a BGSU alumna. I will also play a piece that I have performed many times throughout my life and one of my dear friends even played it at my wedding. And that's The Lark Ascending by Vaughn Williams. The second half of the program is when I will step outside my comfort zone. First, I will play A Night in Jakarta by New York composer David Snow. This work is written for five string, electric violin, and recorded sound. I first performed this piece at BGSU on a Halloween concert the very fall after I had convinced my department chair to purchase an electric instrument. A large number of my violin students were coming to BGSU and already owned an electric violin. For the first time I performed David Snow's piece, in keeping with the Halloween theme, I dressed up like Mark Wood. I do not know what I will be wearing in September, but I will not be hiding my identity this time. 
the violin that I will be playing is a Mark Wood Stingray that he even autographed for me. The next piece on the second half will be Improvisation on a Bach Prelude for Solo Violin and Lute Pedal by Christian Howes. In July of 2013, I attended Christian Howes' Creative Strings Workshop. I am taking baby steps in learning to improvise. Once again, I convinced my department chair to purchase more equipment, including the looper. Then at every string conference I've been, I attend any sessions that deal with looping. Playing this piece in public involves a large leap of faith on my behalf. One involving the electronics that I do not really understand and the second is freeing myself from playing what is written on the page. You should keep in mind that I have spent many years practicing to perfect the art of playing what is on the page. The final piece on my recital will be Adam DeGraff's arrangement of Led Zeppelin's Stairway to Heaven. When I was a member of the Kansas City Symphony, I was hired to play concertmaster for the reemergence tour of Plant and Page. We rehearsed in the afternoon without the band to a CD, and we played what we call footballs, which are whole notes, and we thought the music sounded quite beautiful. However, our naivete was revealed when we approached the deafening sounds of the arena. We didn't play in every song. There was no conductor, and I must say I was a fearful leader. The presence of sound shield protection was comical to us. One piece seemed to run right into the next one. So we couldn't even tell if we were supposed to be playing. Though this felt and still seems horrifyingly embarrassing. I do not think that the audience noticed or cared. If you told me then that I would one day play Led Zeppelin on a faculty recital, I would have declared you insane. So yes, I will be stepping out of my comfort zone, but I will also be having fun. And I hope the audience will as well. So please join me on Wednesday, September 3rd at 8 p.m. If you cannot attend, the event will also be streamed live on the web.